shout hallelujah. Please don't sit down yet. Do, do not sit down. We are still praising God. Please, I want you to understand this. When I do this, I want to be engaged with you, not just in the physical realm. I want a situation whereby you begin to see God flow in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. The Lord is good. Let us have a seat before God. Please, I believe this is a Bible reading church. You are supposed to have a Bible with you. And you are supposed to read the Bible with me. You will see that I was laughing with the shepherd of the church. And I'm going to disclose what I told him. Because when I came here, I found that the, the pulpit is very, very tall. And you know I'm the tallest in the building. So I said, why did you do me that way? I pray that God will be with you in the name of Jesus. That is a song that we sing in Celestial Church of Christ. In fact, it is a song that many sing in many churches. And we have kind of, we embrace that song because we believe it's our blessing. It's like something that we claim to have. Do you know what that song is? Abraham, blessings are mine. Chebeko. Abraham, blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham, blessings are mine. I will sing it one more time. Abraham, blessings are mine. That which you have come to God for, may God fulfill it in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us have a seat. Please, I am a man that I don't like yelling. No, so I don't know how you can you are going to help me with this. Is there anyone here that believes that song is for him or her here? Just lift your hands. I want you to remember that you say it's for you. Huh? I want you to remember. Holy show. I want everybody to remember that we claim it's us. As we go on with the world. I want somebody to open to the lesson that we read. The theme for the world is embracing reciprocity. Can somebody say embracing reciprocity? Uh, English, you know. Reciprocity. Can somebody say that, please? Embracing reciprocity. When I saw that English, I had to scratch my head because I was wondering where did my friend come up with this? I actually like that Michael better than this one. I don't know. You just have to just give me a little bit up on that one. Amen. Amen. You see, this sounds better, right? Uh, I think I am part of the choir, so I know when it's when the mic sounds better. Jayton is trying to. Uh, May God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Embracing reciprocity. That is the word. I want us to open. Because like my friend said, I, have, I don't have to stay here much. So I'm going to try my best with the power of the Holy Spirit to speak the word of God to us. Genesis chapter 17. I want somebody to just read the first few verses. Yes. Uh, uh, let's read from verse 15. I think that's the one for today. Uh-huh. As for Sarai, 
Or maybe Sarai. Somebody say Sarai. Sarai. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh huh. Thou shalt not call a name Sarai, but Sarah. Thou will not call a name Sarai, but Sarah. Uh -huh. Shall a name be. Uh -huh. And I will bless her. I will bless her. And give thee a son. And give thee a son. Also of her. Also of her. Yeah. Yes. I will bless her. I will bless her. And she shall be a mother of nations. And she would be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. King, even of people shall be of her. Let us hold it there. If you are a man here and you are married and you are asking for God's blessing, if your wife is not blessed, there's no way that you'll be blessed. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter how blessed you are. If God does not bless your husband with that which she need, you know everything that you give to a woman, she will multiply. If God does not give her that wisdom, that knowledge and understanding, I'm telling you it's a waste. But that is not the place we are going to today. The word of God is for myself and you. Eh? Abby? But when you look ahead, begin to read. Uh-huh. Where you stop, man? Don't take the mic away from her. Now. Give her the mic. Please, if you don't mind, uh, my prophet, you'll be reading for me today. Uh-huh. Then Abraham fell upon his face. And then laughed. Abraham, the father of faith, fell upon his face. Uh -huh. And laughed. And laughed. And said in his heart. And said in his heart. Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? How can a hundred years old give birth? Uh -huh. And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And how can a ninety year old, a woman, give birth? Uh -huh. And Abraham said unto God. Yes. All that Ishmael might live before thee. All that Ishmael might live and be blessed before thee. Uh -huh. And God said, Yes. Sarah thy wife uh -huh. shall bear thee a son indeed. Yes. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. Uh -huh. And I will establish my covenant with him. Yes. For an everlasting covenant. Uh -huh. And with a seed after him. Yes. And as for Ishmael. That is verse 20, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. As for Ishmael. Uh -huh. I have heard thee. I have heard thee. Behold. Behold. I have blessed him. I have ble Let us hold it there. God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God bless you, man. Amen. I want you to look at this word. Leave her with the mighty. Amen. If another person is reading, she will give it out. I want you to listen to me. There is no place that God sends me to that is not for a purpose. And I want you to write this state down. Benito bag bag I'm speaking. You can go back to that here, I'll find it. For those that are able to tap into this world today, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. If there's anything, I'm telling you, that's why I'm telling the shepherd to write, and you, write today's this down. Say there is one short man that came from Georgia. And it did say this. If you can embrace this word in faith, everything that you ask for today, as long as it's good, I, that is me. As long as it will not destroy the church or anyone, may God give it to you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. When God's word came to Abraham, which is the father of faith, he fell on his face and began to laugh. And the reason is, how can Somebody that is 99, almost 100, give that. And how can a wife that is 90 give that? And when we want to talk about Abraham, we say he's the father of faith. But the father of faith has this time of doubt. I want you to listen to me. There are some of you that your situation is 
past you. You are thinking, you know, it has been a thing that you've struggled with a year, a two, maybe now. You're thinking, ah, if God will do it, let him do. And if he cannot do it, let him not do it. I want you to learn from Abraham. God might have not blessed Ishmael the way he did. But Abraham was this one that said, uh, I'm already 100 and he's 90. You just blessed Ishmael, daddy. Is that not what the word that we read? And God said, okay, what I have spoken to you will come to pass. Your wife will give birth. But then, I will bless, verse 20 said, I will, as for Ishmael, I have had you. Not add the mother, not add Ishmael, not add anybody, but because of your word. Embracing reciprocity. Some of us, we are the ones that have declared our situation into being. What, whatever that we're going through now, we are the ones that declared it into being. Just because few things is going on in your life. Uh, and somebody call you, maybe Yayat call you. Say, oh, how are you? Say, I don't know. Everything is just going. Ah, in fact, this morning, I don't even know. The world is crashing. My leg is this. My head is that. And as at that time, nothing is wrong. So you speak it into being. And God will say, I have had you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Abraham, blessings. Hallelujah. Abraham, blessings are mine. Don't worry about I'm going somewhere. I, I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham, blessings are mine. That's what it's never complete. As 99. That man that you say you want to be blessed like as 99 does not even have a child of his. Eh? Abraham, God, bless me like you bless Abraham. Can you wait like Abraham? God, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the God of Abraham. You are the one. That is how we pray. I wash myself before I use names to pray. Because if you are asking for the blessing of Abraham, you must ask for the strength to stand like Abraham. And the question is this. When you have issues and you begin to lift your issues high, like it's bigger than the whole world, and then you raise that issue higher than God, then God will let you have that issue. Some people, their husband, maybe you have issues with your husband, it's just a little issue. Every time you want to talk to somebody, Olodu Blue Coco, Olodu Blue Coco, Olodu Blue Coco. And at the end of the day, maybe after five years, everything will begin to go down. And then you will say, I like Nisha. You begin to call him another thing again. And God has had you. The Spirit has had you. Many of us, that's how we have made the life of the child to become naught just because of the words of our mouth. Some of us, that is how we have made the wife, the life of our wife, unmeaningful just because of the words of the Lord. God said, As for Ishmael, I have had you. And so also our blessing. Can you look at somebody and say, May God touch you? And face me and say, May God touch me. God touch me. Because I say you don't like each other. It's as you don't like the person beside you. Can you look at me and say, May God touch you? With a smile, say, may God touch you. With another smile, say, may God touch you. In the name of Jesus. For 90, for 100 years. I want you to listen to me. All. You see, all this did not just happen to Abraham. I heard when the shepherd said, for January, you did ride the wing. For February, positive thinking. And now for March, you have reciprocity. All those things has meaning. Are you with me? I, I wish somebody would just be able to tap into this. I pray again. By the power and the greatness of God, if there's anything in your life that people have called impossible, or that you have called, you know sometimes we will call it impossible because we've not seen it happen and we've been waiting. May God make it possible in the name of Jesus. Somebody said it's done already. 
I like that. You see that kind of faith? I, you, it cannot go wrong. I want you to listen to this. Things did not just get complicated in Abraham's life. Abraham was called by God. He will leave his father's situation. That's another case. He got to Abraham, go to Canaan, right? On his journey, there was drought. On his, yeah, maybe around Genesis 12. On his journey, there was drought. And he thought within himself, ah, let me go to Egypt. So he moved to Egypt. And when he got to Egypt, the first thing that was the best thing to him was what the enemy took from him. That's his wife. Are you listening to me? And Abraham went up out of Egypt. Ah, God bless you. He man. and his wife uh -huh. and all that he had and Lot with him yes. into the south. Uh -huh. And Abraham was rich in cattle, yes. in silver and in gold. Yes. And he went on his journeys from the south, uh, even to because Bethel. Of, because of people. And because I've been told not to take so much time. Let us sit down, sir. My God bless you. May God continue to bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Yeah. See, some of us here. Simple instructions we will we, we, what God will give to us. Uh, I've seen somebody in actually it's in my church. The Lord said, Lead one service and I'll make things work for you. Uh, holy show. I don't have the time. Time pass. The Lord come again. And this time to me. And I told him, I said the Lord has turned it to three for you. Do it so that things work. Sell the show, I'll find time. After like some months, the Lord told me again, tell him seven. I told him seven. He said, okay, I'll see what I can do. Some months he was in his own house. Uh, you know, many people that feel it is only the prophet that the spirit can just, the spirit came upon him. He began to use his head to bang everything in his house. The next thing I see is a call. And because of his tenacity before God now, he had a case that, in fact, the person, you know, when in this country, when you have a case of something like somebody rape you, and it is between you and the girl, most of the time, you don't have witness. They had a mutual relationship, and because he said, you know what, I am done with this relationship, it's called, just immediately called rape. Oh, and the deal is already done. And the case was going to a level that he would lose everything. But because of him just coming before God and doing that which God asked him to do, all of it was, in fact, the girl could not even say anything anymore. Like, what, what went wrong? She began, she began to say something else. If there's something that is bothering you, may God fix it for you in the name of Jesus. But, and because of that thing that Abraham did, things became a little bit complicated. Because when you get to Genesis 15, God still reminded him that I, my promise has not changed though. What I wanted to do for you has not changed. But you know, men, like many of us, we always want to help God. Is there somebody here that I've tried to help God before? I know I'm one of them. That you know, because God said, ah, maybe God told you, I'm bringing my blessing. Then you see maybe something somewhere and you felt, ah, this is the way that God wants to bless me. And you begin to follow that out because you think, God has said he will bless me. So definitely, if this person is talking to me about this, this must surely be God's way. Of blessing me. Are you with me? So Genesis by 15. Abraham thought, let's look at another way. The wife said, uh, you know, like the Nigerians will say, go into this, my maid servant. Maybe through her, the word of God will be fulfilled. Do you know that that act? became the act that changed the old scenario in the life of Abraham. Are you with me? I want to just speak in regards to what there are many things that Abraham did that many of us don't even think of that caused it. By, by the time he gets to Genesis 17, the, the promise that has no condition became conditional in Genesis 17, the one that we read today. 
Because if you read that Genesis chapter, seven, chapter 17, you begin to see God telling him now that there are conditions. Only if you do this, I will do this. If you do this, I will do this. There was nothing like that in Genesis 12, 15, up to, to 17. The reason I'm telling you this is God is planning to reciprocate all the time. He's always planning to give back. And he can only give back in regards to what you have given him. Somebody shout hallelujah. They will say service. You'll be the one that will not come, but call people to let them know that you are not coming so that they don't come also. It is not that we are doing it. But imagine this. I don't want to come to church. And I call somebody. Are you going to church today? I don't think I'll go. I'll just relax at home. That person will also think, ah, me too. I need some realization. No? All those things are things that makes life complicated for many, many because God promise does not, he does not attach anything to it. But when you begin to change the game, God begins to change the rule. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm offending you. If I'm not offending, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm telling you because of what God did speak with me. See, when I came into this church this morning and I knelt down and I bowed down, God told me, you see, I know you've put many things down that you want to speak, put that aside. And God began, God started with that song, Abraham blessings. It was when I was in it that that song came to me. I am blessed in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Abraham blessings. But then, Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I want you to listen to this. But even after Abraham laughed, the point is not what you do or your action when you are hearing the word. You know, sometimes we hear some things and we doubt or we feel like any prophet in so or what is this man saying? Or what is this that I'm hearing? That is not the issue. The issue is what you do after. It is okay to doubt. I'll tell you that. But it is better to put yourself back into faith. If you doubt and you remain a doubting Thomas, you are changing the game and God will change the rule. Are you listening to me? If you read that verse 17, towards the end, Abraham now begins to do the things. Because in the first, look at it. How can Genesis 17 verse 1, how can God look at Abraham at 99 and tell him, walk before me and be pure? If, you, if anybody here has common sense, which I know we all have, we know that that means there has been impurities in the life of Abraham before then. Things that he has not done right. So God told him, first of all, fix yourself before I can fix your future. You know, many of us here, all we have to do is fix ourselves, fix our action. The way we react with people, the way we talk to people, the way we talk to God, the way we act around people, fix that first. Stop putting the blame on prophet. That prophet, you know, some of us, call on Dariji Wanyo in such a surprise. We'll be saying, that prophet is not in spirit. That prophet told me, God is going to do it in six months, and this is the seven months I've not gotten it. Now, the question is, were there conditions? I've had people that all that God will tell them is, worship me. When God says, worship me, that is not a Sunday, Sunday that, are pre that we use in Nigeria. If God says, give me six months, all I need you is to worship me. That means every time that you have, you must worship God. When you have time for Wednesday service, you have to be there. When you have time for Friday service, you have to be there. When you have time for Sunday service, when they want to be clean, when they want to clean the house of God, you are supposed to be number one. When you do that, then God can reciprocate. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. 
when you read that verse 23 of the book of Genesis, he said on that very day, what did Abraham do? And Abraham took Ishmael his son, uh -huh. and all that were born in his house, yes. and all that were brought, bought with his money, yes. every male among the main, uh, men of Abraham's uh -huh. house, and circumcised the flesh and of the first And circumcised them. Sit down, man. Though he doubted, but he said, nevertheless, just like Peter, I will fulfill all righteousness. Why don't you, first of all, fulfill all righteousness, then complain? Are you, are you with me? Why don't you, you, fulfill all righteousness? Do that which God asks you to do first. And then you can go to God and be like Abraham. You know, when Abraham was saying in chapter 15, Ah, it is me that you have not given any child. God was looking at him, I will deal with you in chapter 17. And then he told him, be pure. And Abraham looked like, oh God, so I've messed up. Are you with me? This is what God asked me to speak to you. Stop blaming people for your own errors. If you don't fix your errors, God cannot grant you that which you want. I pray that God will grant it to you in the name of Jesus. I can pray, 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 pray. I see your shepherd. He's a prayer warrior. He's, I pray too. But I tell people, stop wasting my prayer. I'll be there doing fasting and praying and you will be lallygagging, doing whatever that you want, thinking that God is a God, you know. We have a slang that I don't like in Christianity. What is that slang? And that is actually bad. That is not even the one. That is actually very, very bad. The one is God understands. You understand? God understands. Uh, why didn't we see you on Sunday? You are not supposed to do this. Ah, holy show. God understands. Some people will say, if you, if you had to know how I felt on Saturday night, you will not be asking me why I didn't come. Amen. Amen. Ah, the way I'm looking at him. And that's the way I'm looking at that person now. You know you're my person. Amen. It's not the one that did anything, you no. Know. Somebody here shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I love God so much. And the reason why I love God so much is he, does, he doesn't have a double standard. <laughs> so for you that you think you are Jesus, wonder on children, and then you are better than people in the world, I tell people you better think. Abraham was blessed. He has money. But that which he needed to be called a man, he did not have it. So it is not. I was opportunity to go and pray for somebody at the, at the hospital. And then I saw a woman that was just in distress. And I asked, what's wrong? He said um, that the son needs a kidney. So the, there is a list. And now that the son is in critical condition, when she shared the list, the son is like number 11. So that means there's still priority one, two, three, four. And she said she has called almost every person on that list to yield that he will re is ready. she's ready to pay anything and they are not yielding. How many of you have your kidney here? Are you sure you have your kidney? Yeah. How much did you pay to sustain it? How much did you give to God to hold it still? I, I know some of you, some of you have been paying the shepherd some money to just let so that my kidney will rain. If God can do that for you, that which you don't have power over, or does anyone have power over how to keep and make sure that the kidney is right? Make your kidney right 101 and you will never die again. Any doctor here? That God can do all things. The only thing that he cannot do is to lie. And I pray that God, that God will answer you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If we humans can keep covenant with each other, how much more to keep his promises for you? Are you with me? There's a song that I love. He will never share 
glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Are you sure? You know, many of us, we, we try to give God's glory to people. When we talk and we want to finish it, we say, ah, if not for, eh? and there will not go there. If not for the shepherd in Christ. When I was rolling on the floor, he just lifted his hand, he laid it on me, and he leaned or called. Ah, what a wonderful great man. And then you wonder where the, when the liver fell again. Or something starts happening again. Are you with me? Abraham was an outstanding good man. But he has his failures, just like many of us. And until he fixed it in Genesis 17, that was when God began to fix it. He, you see, Isaac came immediately. By next year, they were able to celebrate Isaac. Do you know there's somebody here that God wants to live to an higher height that that person has never been before? And all that that person has to do is just fix, fix their situation. We know, we know what is wrong in our life. Eh? Like my friend said, my friend, he said, uh, they say I talk too much. Somebody shout hallelujah. I was looking at my time. I said, ah, 1242. Amen. May God bless us in the name of Jesus. And let us quickly go into the second Bible reading. The book of Galatians chapter 3. Even as Six, verse six, uh, uh, reading from, I think, 15. We started okay. at 15. Brethren, okay. yes. I speak after the manner of men. Yes. Though it be but a man's covenant, uh -huh. yet if it be confirmed, yes. no man disannulled or added thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed mm -hmm. were the promises made. Yes. He said not and to seeds as of many yes. but as of one one seed uh -huh. and to thy seed yes. which is Christ which is Christ and this i say uh -huh. that the covenant that was confirmed before of god in christ yes. the law yes. which was 430 years after uh -huh. cannot disannul mm -hmm. that it should make the promise of non effect yes for if the inheritance be of the law uh -huh. it is no more of promise yes but god gave it to abraham by promise. Uh -huh. Wherefore, yes. then served the law. Uh -huh. It was added because of transgressions. Laws mm. is always added because of transgression. Mm. When, whenever there is transgression, there is a change in the rule. Once we understand this, our life will go better. If God says, maybe a prophet, sometimes it's not a prophet, me, Nikke Joko, it be no. And this is a joke. Everybody just heard about the service. Oh my, some of the church people want joke. Like she go money, come joke. One come I run, no other one. She will write a check, and then you know, say for me sitting when I was not asked to sit down. This is my talking to the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Every change that we make in the things that God has tells us changes God's rule. It's a balanced equation. We have read the word of God. No, God will give to you as you have as you have sent to him. If you are loyal, he will make himself loyal. If you are faithful, he will make himself faithful. And if you are otherwise, may God help you in the name of Jesus. Laws are given because of sin. And do you know that even with Abraham having Isaac, it has been a thing of one error after the another error after any another error until Christ came. Christ is the one that fulfilled all righteousness. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Let me tell you, what God is asking from you is not much. God just wants you to walk with him in the way that he has asked you to walk with him. Is that hard? My calling is different from your calling. No? Don't come and copy my calling. You might fail. 
Some people, their job in any place that they have is to make sure that the place is clean. Now, if that person say because somebody is now a senior evangelist that we got in church together, me too, I'm going to go and get honorary, most superior, senior, whatever rank that is available. That person will leave the job that God has called them for. And once you begin to change the game, God begins to change the rule. All that you ask God, why am I in this church? It's a thing of thinking. After Abraham had left, I bet he went to sit down and said, what am I going to even lose? This man caught me that I've not been faithful all this while. And he went back and fixed everything. And because he did so, if you are a member of this church, think, what have I done not right? Make that one thing right. Are you the one that usually send people out of the church? You know, there are some people in the church, their, their job, they are, they are, I'm trying to find a name that would be good for them. They don't add to God. They subtract from God. And they want the best from God. How does that work? They will be the one to tell them, ah, I don't know why you're still in the church. You, me, I'm just there because, uh, but you are still there. And then you'll be sending somebody out. Is it their fault even? You that they are sending out. <laughs> eh? How, how mobilized is, is it, should I say, are you or is you? That you as a person, you are there. I tell people, before you go to any church, you have to know that God has placed your name there. And for many of you here, I can tell you there are great things for you in this church. But the point is, when you now come to the church, what do you now do? Do you now begin to change the game? The game. Some, some people want to become chairman by, by, by tulas. So anybody that is in the position of chairman does not know what they are doing. Any mistake that they make, ah, shepherd, you know, I've told you, that man is just, is just not useful. He just, just change him. And you begin to change the game. And you think God will not change the rule for you. Reciprocal city. Are you with me? Yes, sir. And that is why we need Christ. Because Christ is the only one. And that's why I love the name of this church. It is the blood of. Jesus. Blood of. Jesus. Blood of. Jesus. Holy meal. I'm seeing it. They are not answering me. It's like they are saying. You, you. Huh? Somebody shout hallelujah. Eh? The only people that are smiling at me is my mommies. All the mommies in the first, second, third row, they are smiling. But the rest, I'm looking at their face, they're saying, this man, if you come outside today, amen? Amen. I want to tell you today, if you want to, if you want the blessing of God through doctrine, through laws, and through many things, you might not have it. Not righteous. That we can never be like God. That is one of the things. The other thing that the Lord does is. It channels us. Into doing right. So that at least we can try. You understand what I mean? But do you know the best thing that anybody can have. That you don't have to worry about the law anymore. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Because let me tell you. Once you have Jesus in you. You don't have to worry about so many things. Okay, why would you worry about taking another person's husband or taking another person's wife or cheating or all of that because when you have Christ all that reigns is you is agape the love of God hallelujah yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah if you are with me shout hallelujah, hallelujah. the Lord is good all the time, all the time. reciprocity reciprocity. Let me tell you, this is what God told me while I was praying there. I'm not like, a, I'm not a prophet. I don't shake body. So when we are done, don't come to me and say, Move your 
You understand? God told me that there are people here that have done great for him in Celesta Church. And that was why I love the situation when the word came that everyone should have a candle. Tell God today about your work. But before you tell God about your work, tell God about your mistake first. Tell him to look over that mistake. Why am I even, all the time I'm, I'm looking at Brother Imola here. Eh? Are you the only one that God has come for? Uh, God has come for me in the name of Jesus. And God has come for you in the name of Jesus. Tell God today, when we go into prayer, tell him about your errors first. Let him understand that you are human. You are just like Abraham. But you are ready to make amendments. And then begin to tell God about those good work. And use those. Please, if you don't see it in three months, check yourself. Oh, because I don't have issues with the word of God. And word of God does not have issues. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the principal things. Embrace Christ. And because of this, let us rise on our feet. Mogbonre Olorumi Mogbonre Eledami O so pe kin fi shu sile ki ma tele un Olorun lo pe Olorun lo pe Olorun lo pe mi since we don't know that one can somebody open to him number eight we are going to use that to pray some of us we say in celestial church of christ we don't have we don't do call to altar because we don't bring people here to stand what did him eight you can sing it him number eight ah charm money will offer prayers for you. Jesus is the only one that can offer a perfect prayer for you. Oh, sinner, come. So, come. Uh -huh. Jesus will not let you be ashamed. Jesus, it is not the shepherd in Christ. It is not only Joshua It is Jesus that will not allow you to be put to shame. Oh, sinner, come. So, come to him. Uh -huh. Jesus will not let you to be ashamed. Uh -huh. Oh, sinner, come. Yes. Your load is heavy. Everyone's load is heavy. The errors is too much. Do you want to count the errors that I've made in my past? If God is to judge me by those errors, 
if God is to judge you by the errors of your past, would you be standing? Many of us, the errors of our past is overweight. We cannot carry it about to remove the errors. Jesus is about to carry that load. So come. Go sinner, come. Uh -huh. Today you should give your mind to him. All that you have to do is to release yourself. No, don't. You see, when you say, I, I, I don't like it when people say, I've, I've made Jesus my Lord and pastor and Savior, but then they are the driver. They are the one, they are the decision maker. They are the one driving their own boat. And they said they have yielded to Christ. If you are truly yielded to Christ, Christ is supposed to be the one to tell you the things that you will do. Uh huh. Oh, sinner, come. Let us just close our eyes. And wherever you are, I want you to begin to confess. Even if you know you cannot confess that sin loud, just begin to tell those errors to God in quietness. Because sometimes if I begin to say mine, you must say, ah, ah, a whole shepherd in Christ. So you've done this. Begin to confess your errors to God. Please, let us not waste this time. I'm telling you, hey, people have no idea. You don't know when Christ will come to you. He told Simeon, you will not see death until you see Christ. The day that he saw Christ, he had no idea that Christ was coming. Can you begin to confess and begin to tell God, Father, this is my errors. I know, yes, I've done this. Yes, I know it's not worthy of you. But I am now asking you, God, carry this load for me. The burden is not something I can deal with. I am yielding myself to you, Lord Jesus. And I'm asking that today you will carry this burden. That you have me carrying this load. And begin to give me relief. Begin to speak to God wherever you are. Just begin to tell God. And, and just, just let, let, if I want to sing, I'll sing. If the keyboards want to play, they can play a, a solemn hymns like that hymn eight on the background. Just begin to tell God, Father, my errors is much. It is, it is. Over. You know, I told you once you begin to change the game with your errors, God begin to change the rules, and then you can't fix it. Father, I release myself to you. I know, I know, I know, my errors is much. Father, carry this load for me. This burden is too much. I can't fix it. I can't deal with it. I, there's no resolution on my hand for it. So I'm yielding it to you, Lord Jesus. Take this burden. Carry this load. Release me of my errors and make a new thing for me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I hope somebody has prayed that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 I want you to also pray this prayer. Are you with me? Come as a Lord. Remind God of your good works. If there's anything that you have done before God, maybe it is singing, maybe it is dancing, maybe it is playing the maybe it's playing the keyboard. Anything that you have done to God that is called good in His house, remind God of it and say, God, if for only this thing that I've done, begin to make things work for me. Even if it is for just this little thing that I've done that I know is right before you. Begin to make things work for me. Can you begin to pray to God? I hope you are not wasting this time. There's no point of coming to God and just be standing without reminding God of who He is. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the one that ruleth in the affairs of man. 
speak to him. Olorun, 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 Obatoni Agbaralaya ati onu. Father, we thank you. Father, remember this that I've done, that which I've done, that you have given the privilege, even if it's just to work for you. This privilege that you have given to me, this good thing that you have made me do, you made me do it. It is not intentional. It's something. It's not something that is part of my my ticket or list of good things I want to do. But because of your grace that I'm doing it, make everything work for me. Everything, spiritual and physical, let it work for my good. Can you begin to pray that prayer? Everything that God has made, begin to ask that it will work for your good. He's the creator of the land. He owns the heart. He owns the universe. He owns the fire. He owns the water. He owns the blood. He owns the flesh. He owns the spirit. He owns everything. Ask that things will work for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. appreciating me i can get mad give me the power to not look into that situation can am i speaking to somebody here begin to speak to god that god is it because people are not coming to church am i getting mad as a shepherd and it's affecting the church give me the power not to get mad anymore is it because i'm not receiving from people i'm feeling that they don't appreciate me the power to neglect that and just do your will father that is what i'm asking for the power, the grace to do your will, to do your will, to do your will, to do your will. The end of God is great here. The power of God is here. The sanity of God is enveloped everyone here. So begin to speak to God. I want to do your will, oh Jesus. I don't want to do the will of man. I don't want to do the will of anyone but your will. I want to do your will. The power, the strength, the spirit, the grace to do your will. I don't want to fall on the roadside. I don't want to fail begin to ask that God will not put you to shame that is what the spirit of the Lord is saying that God I am asking that you will not put I will not be put to shame that's the word I will not be put to shame in my home I will not be put to shame in my career I will not be put to shame in any place that I find myself I will not be put to shame in the church I will not be put to shame when I go to sleep I will not be put to shame when I'm awake I will not be put to shame when I speak. I will not be put to shame in all places. Can somebody begin to turn into prayer? I will not. Ojo niti me. La ni o ta. La ni o re. Ojo niti me. Ne no le ni ni di le ba ba ni di le ya. Ojo niti me. La ujo amo lu sha. La ujo amo to fell. La ujo amo to kori la re. Ojo niti me. I will not be put to shame. 
unless if you get you are good enough just begin to tell god father let me not be able to share olorun ijo ma je ko ninu ijo yi ti mo wa ma je ko ju ko ti mi ninu ijo selected of christ ma je ko ju ko ti mi ninu ijo selected of christ blood of jesus ma je ko ju ko ti mi father let me not be put to shame let me not be put to shame because you have used me oh god because i've yielded to your call let me not be put to shame for a second or minute and microsecond let me not to shame thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed hey, yeah. I wanted to stop but there's a prayer that came i'm going to give to the shepherd and he's going to come to you there's a song that came to me and i believe it is because god wants us to pray about it I want you to listen to this and you are going to pray with it. Because Abraham took Lot with him. He changed the game and the rule began to change. Because Abraham went down to Egypt, he changed the game. The rules began to change. Because Abraham begat Ishmael, he changed the game. The rules changed. Because Abraham did not allow the beds to fit on that sacrifice that is made to God, he changed the game. The rules changed. Can you tell God? Oh Lord, if there's anything, anyone, any person in my life, that will drag me from doing your will cause a wedge between me and such thing begin to pray that prayer anything that can deprive me of your glory anything that can deprive me of your greatness anything that can deprive me of your promise anything that can deprive me of that elevation the greatness of God for the cause away between me and such thing. And the Kenya love Barry Timole Barry Tio Yam Mishupu Tio Jackin Cosse Tio Nikakin Rita Michelinu Re Yam Yau Tomo. Begin to pray that prayer. Tell God to cause separation between you and those things that can hinder you. Ah, I hope somebody will pray this prayer. That God, anything that can hinder my glory, hinder my success, hinder my career, separate me and such things, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, are you with me? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' holy and mighty name, we have prayed.
Abraham was, was blessed with every physical thing. But that which matters to him the most was denied. Until God in and you speak to God at this time and tell God everything needed for me to become your glory on this earth. Do not denounce me of it. I somebody praying that prayer. Bo bounty money low. Let it be jail go any no le. Let it be jail go any no jo. Let it be jail go relani on re. Let it be jail go relani on one ta. Let it be jail go relani on one lose your gun ton. Oh, Timoni, let's talk about my ring. Me, what's up? Oh, go alone, re. Is ya tie? Ya alone, re. Is ya no ati? Bu go alone, re. Oh, run besi ro. Joe, no sinu aye me. Everything needed for me to be your glory. In all circumstances, in all places, at all times, in all seasons, pour it into my life. That anointing to be your glory. That anointing to be your son. Anointing to do well. That anointing that when people see me, they will say, "Glory, glory, glory, glory." This is God's glory flowing. Father, pour it into me because I have done Your will. Pour it into me. Pour it into me. Pour it into me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' holy and mighty name, we have prayed. Can you begin to ask for the power of the Holy Spirit? Because that is the only thing that can direct your affairs on earth. And me morning conni, and me morning tonni, and me morning fini mono. It is the Holy Spirit that teaches. It is the Holy Spirit that gives insight. It is the Holy Spirit that gives understanding. It is the Holy Spirit that gives wisdom. It is the Holy Spirit that gives power. It is the Holy Spirit that gives greatness. Ask for the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit coming to me. The spirit of the living God, the spirit of truth, the spirit of grace, the spirit of favor, the spirit that fills with the serenity of God. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Bear it for me, more. Ask for the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Amen.
is going to be the last um, prayer point that I'm going to give at this hour, at this time. Put this church in your prayer and tell God to expand and like the cost of his church and that he should make it stand. And then you want to add this to it and tell God, when the time comes for the glorification of this church, let me not be there before that time. Let me not lose my place before that time. Let me not lose that which you have blessed me before that time. And finally, tell God that God, I want to make heaven. Let me not just inherit earth, but make heaven. Turn it into prayer. Your over Jesus Christ will remind them. Father God, this is your church. You see, people are not praying. When I say pray for the church, pray, open your mouth and pray for the church. Father, this is your church. Be with your church. Hmm. Enlarge the course of the shit on the step. Let me not lose heaven, O oh God. Let me not lose heaven, O oh God. Let me not lose heaven, O oh God. Thank you.